Hi, welcome to hard margin. Another name of the hard margin is here maximum margin classifier. This maximum margin classifier is maximizing the margin by adjusting the hyperplane and its decision boundaries. Hyperplane in the sense here negative hyperplane and positive hyperplane and decision boundary that ensures the classifier does not misclassify any data point. So for this we should ensure that given data set is linearly separable data set. It forces the model to correctly classify every data point in the given training data set. So in this plot you look at here all the data points which are correctly classified. There is no uh, single uh, single misclassification. So in this kind of uh, data set here the data set is linearly separable. Linearly separable. This hyperplane is linearly separable uh, hyperplane. So if data set is linearly separable we can use hard margin classifier. Hard margin SVM classifier. This is called hard margin SVM classifier. So the ith data point is correctly classified if its functional margin is greater than 0. So functional margin equation is here the actual output multiplied with the predicted output which should be always greater than 0. For example, suppose my uh, in the given data set uh, the x1 feature and x2 feature and the actual output which is actual output here 0 0.1, 0 0.2 here my class is minus 1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 um, my class is plus 1. So our data set is having two samples here three uh, uh, three columns so two are features x1 x2 and one is actual output. So suppose my predicted output my predicted output is here a hypothesis of uh, w transpose x plus b. So for ith sample here for this ith sample my predicted output is y dash okay y dash is here I am taking that y dash is w transpose x up uh, plus b. So my predicted output is minus 1. Here my predicted output is you assume that plus 1. So when you are applying this uh, predicted output and actual output in this equation so you will get always for negative class also you will get positive value. You look at that from this equation uh, for the first class actual output is for the first sample. First sample actual output is minus 1. Our hypothesis yeah, predicted output predicted output is also minus one so you will get the positive one and like that for the second sample yf2 uh, here the actual output is plus one then predicted output is also here plus one so you look at that we are getting the positive value so either your class is uh, negative or positive if it is correctly classified if it is correctly perfectly classified you will get the positive value that is the condition given here greater than zero suppose if our predicted value is different you look at that here my prediction y dash is here suppose for y dash here uh, the first sample which is predicted as positive one you look at that which is misclassification which is misclassification for the negative class also which is predicted as, predicted as minus one so when you are applying this here same thing so here uh, our actual output is here minus one right minus the predicted output is here plus one predicted output is here plus one you look at that our predicted output is assumed as plus one so when your predicted output is plus one and actual output is minus one you are getting the minus one which is less than zero likewise when your predicted output is positive one and uh, sorry actual output is positive one and predicted output is minus one you look at that for second sample minus one so which is also giving minus one so which is also uh, less than zero so if your data is misclassified you will get less than zero less than zero if your data is correctly classified then you will get greater than zero so here 
based upon this you can identify your data is correctly classified or misclassified so from this equation you can say geometric and functional margins are equal when your norm w equal to 1 already we know the functional margin value is this one functional margin value is this one the geometric value is this one so when you are applying here in the denominator norm 1 equal to 1 which is equal to the functional margin when you are applying the 1 to this uh, norm w then it will be the it will be look like same functional margin so which is uh, here uh, with respect to the with respect to the uh, condition we can write the we can write the uh, hard margin objective function here uh, maximizing the parameter uh, maximizing the functional uh, geometric margin with respect to w comma b actual output and predicted output divided by norm w with respect to the condition this constraint which is always should be greater than or equal to this gamma value this gamma value gamma is here geometric margin and your norm is equal to one so two constraints are there the first constraint is forcing every data point is perfectly classified the second constraint norm equal to one which is forcing to not only this is not only lower bound to the functional margin which is acting as a lower bound to the geometric margin also this emphasize these two constraints these two constraints are emphasizing the svm to maximize the minimum distance of the geometric margin so this trying to maximize this maximum uh, margin size without any misclassification that is the aim of this hard margin classifier when you are applying this so dividing that objective function by the norm so which is lower bound for the functional margin and also lower bound for the geometric margin so the when norm equal to 1 norm equal to 1 which is uh, equivalent to the functional margin so to uh, uh, to improve the value we are uh, taking out that condition norm equal to 1 so which is the objective function that is non convex so we are a uh, step uh, one step closer when we are uh, making this uh, i mean um, removing this norm equal to 1 so here we can impose uh, gamma equal to 1 when it does not change the model that means if this model is uh, not depending on the scaling of the parameters scaling of the parameters so based on this here the we are making that 1 divided by norm w which is uh, used to maximize so when you are maximizing the functional margin with respect to w um, the, there is the possibility of there is the possibility of here when you are maximizing the uh, w uh, there is the possibility of decreasing this functional mar uh, margin decreasing the geometric margin decreasing the geometric margin because denominator when you are increasing the denominator value maximizing the parameter automatically there is the possibility of decreasing the margin so avoid that we are ma making that maximization problem into minimization problem by flipping the equation uh, one by uh, uh, one by uh, one by w is flipped into equal to norm w square divided by one right so that is the thing so when we are applying this we are getting the minimization equation one divided by two norm w square then subject to the constraint this one so always which is greater than or equal to one which is always greater than or equal to one so the uh, the objective function to be minimized with respect to the w and b parameters the con constraint represents always it should be greater than or equal to one it emphasizes the hard margin classifier to maximize the distance between the margin between the margin so this distance is uh, trying to maximize 
without any misclassification there is the some limitations the hard margins are infeasible if condition is not satisfied that means if data is not linearly separable we cannot use hard margin classifier and which is very sensitive to the noise data so we have to go for another approach the so first uh, first uh, limitation is here you look at the data is unable to um uh, separate linearly so here also it is also pos not possible in this direction also not possible so we cannot separate the data uh, we cannot separate the data linearly so in this kind of uh, data set we cannot use the uh, hard margin classifier and also uh, we uh, uh, this is very sensitive about the uh, nice data here look at that this is one nice data this is another second nice data uh, so due to nice this data is uh, located in the wrong class wrong class so this is misclassified data so in this kind of uh, uh, situation also we cannot use the hard margin classifier thanks for watching